many parts of our Angular or web applications today deal with network call. And using higher level RxJS can solve these problems in very efficient way. These operators many times are confusing and a little bit scary. But these operators can be easily understood. In this video, we'll understand the concepts behind some of these operators. And then with some simple live code examples, I hope I'll be able to help you use power of RxJS to simplify your applications. So let's go right into our video right now. To understand the working of higher level operators in RxJS, let's start with map operator first. Take a look at this marble diagram. This map operator changes the input value into different output by multiplying it with 10. You can see 1 has been converted to 10, 2 has been converted to 20 and 3 has been converted to 30. For real world example, you can take a look at this diagram now. We can see that mouse event captured from document was converted to observable and then changed to a string using map operator. This example is a part of video which I created. You can find that on top right corner. In that video, I talk about thinking observables in a different way and about using map operators with live code to get an understanding how that works. Take a situation where you have search box like Google and you want to call server to get autocomplete options when you type in some text. For each key press, you would have to call server and get some information from server. Now there are other options in RxJS like debounce which we can use to do these operations. But we'll go into details for those in a separate video. Please consider subscribing to this channel to watch this content. As you can see, one possible solution for this is to call server whenever value changes in input box. In this example, we are falling into nested subscribes anti pattern why as you can see here we have a subscription done inside another subscribe that's why it is having multiple nesting now what is the problem with that if we add little bit more complications to it like multiple level calls to server this quickly gets nested to multiple levels nesting is one of the problems which we wanted to avoid with rsjs any observable which is created from data emitted from an another observable is called a higher level observable. I know this sounds confusing, that's why I am going to simplify it for you through simple examples. So we had a problem earlier where we are going to call server whenever you change any text in a search box that autocomplete thing. We could think to solve that problem in many different ways. What if we want to wait for one server call to complete and only then trigger the next one? Or what if we want to cancel previous server call if a new one comes? Or what if we want to ignore all new server calls if previous one is going on? Let's take an example where a new server call is only done when the previous one completes. To write that code, for, however, we need to understand concat map. Take a look at this marble diagram. We have events coming in from two different observables at different times. But we combine that all into one. Did you notice that only when first observable completes the one with A and B, then only a new observable with X and Y starts. Key point about this was that second observable was taken after first one was complete and all were merged into output. So we have our code here where we are using reactive way of fetching the value whenever key press happens. So whenever in search control value changes, what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, subscribe and inside that as you saw, we have a nested code where we are doing a dummy server call here. I have made the server in such a way that it will give values at random point of time. Now to see how, how it works, we can go to our dummy search and try to type hello. So you can see that our code network also parses our random time given 440 milliseconds with HE it started at 589 milliseconds and HEL started at 1700 milliseconds and so on. So if we type hello LL then it will give some results. 
and whenever we do backspace we also get result for those items so this is the common way or the way which we want to avoid and subscribe and subscribe pattern let me convert this into contact map style So as you can see, what I simply did was added a pipe with concat map which makes the server call and through concat map as we saw in marvel diagram, the next call won't be done until the previous one is completed. We can see the example now. Let's refresh, let's first save this file and let it refresh. If we type hello quickly, you can see the fourth one didn't happen until the first three were completed. So let me quickly remove you can see that the other call only starts it's quite fast here but the other call only starts when the previous one is completed talking about transforming things i would request you to transform that colorless like button into a colored one <laughs> on a serious note your one like or subscribe can help me reach to many other people who want to see this kind of content to increase their knowledge on angular and different projects now back to our case with concatenation we are able to execute a server call after our first one was complete or we were able to fire an observable after the first observable is completed but what if we want to fire an observable as soon as we can press the button how do we do that? Let's find out. For those cases, we need to consider that there are two observables in that marble diagram which never complete and both are firing different data at different point of time. I think it will be easier to understand through marble diagrams. Let's take a look. As you can see that marbles or data sent in both observables are falling into final observable at the time they were called. A, B and C are called from first observable whereas D, E and F are from second one. Using merge, both are outputted through merged observable. So we have our program here where we were using concat map and instead of that only thing we have to do to change it to merge map is to type in merge map and save the file. Also one thing which I have done is I have changed the time it was random time which I was using in HTTP server to make it a little bit larger so that we can see the changes so if now I type hello you can see all things were in red color at same time and then so this is basically all calls are executed parallelly as soon as I type in text other calls are also done so if I quickly remove you can see different calls were completed at different time and you can see one more problem even though we have he written here the results are coming in for hell because hell took a little bit more time than he to complete that's why the last result which came in was for hell with merge map if you are typing in too many characters too quickly all calls are made in parallel if the response for the newer one comes before the response from older one you will see result in a wrong format like if you are typing in hello and the response for hell comes after hello then you will see different results altogether rather than seeing results for hello. If we want to stop a lot of parallel calls, if we want to stop the previous call, if a new observable has come in or a new event has come in, we need to use switch map. As you can see in the marble diagram, if new observable starts at any point, the older one is unsubscribed. In this picture, you can see that as soon as E is received, the subsequent data from first subscription is ignored. In this case, D was ignored in the output. Let's go to our program and change this to switch map. So if we just convert this to switch map and save the file, that's all the change we have to make. Once this is done, we can go and see our program. Now, if we type in hello, now you can see only hell was accepted and all other calls were rejected. I made the program in such a way that the calls which are not completed are in red color so you can see that only hell was completed but others were ignored if i type in hello it will be yellow for it will be red for a while and then it will convert into green so switch map cancels the previous call if a new call comes in there are other operators too like exhaust map which is kind of opposite to switch map where if the new observable or new key comes in that is ignored until the older one is completed. 
but we'll not go into that details that much because it is almost similar to switch map so you can just figure it out or we'll go into details about that in a new video please put that in comment if you want to have details on that too as you can understand by now higher level observables or operators are very much essential for reactive programming in angular using these i have simplified lot of code in my applications and i think you can also simplify code in yours thank you for your time see you again soon bye bye